Hi, this is Jim Mann with Homestyle Southern Cooking. Welcome back and thank for having me in your home. Um, I have a friend that I went to high school with a couple of years ago. Well, maybe I'm exaggerating a few years, but I have a friend from high school that, that she's been following me like a number of my friends from high school have. And she sent me a recipe that I want to try. And this is two ingredients. And she says it's the only biscuit recipe she goes to. So two ingredients, we're going to try it and see. It calls for two cups of all-purpose, uh, I mean, self-rising flour, self-rising flour. And I have to be really careful. I have to mark mine. I mark mine self-rising or either plain flour, so I know. Two of those two cups of self-rising flour, I've got a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. And then I'm going to blend these together. Like I said, I'm trying these for the first time. It sounds delicious and it's, it's, it, it, it should be really good. I have so many wonderful friends that I that I went to school with that I stay in contact with over the years and we have a Facebook page group and they keep in touch and um, they, they let me know what they think about the things uh, and so uh, it's, it's really nice to have people that you're in contact with over the years. All right. Now I'll put a bit of flour on my hand. I will actually get in here a little bit. All right, Becky told me to uh, flour a spot, and she said to actually get in there and get it on the floured spot. So I'm gonna get it in here. Put a little bit more flour on the top. Work it a little bit. The one thing with any kind of biscuit uh, dough, you don't want to work it too much because if you work biscuit dough too much, any type of biscuit dough, it'll make it very tough. So I don't know how many of this will make. I do know that I've preset my oven to 475. And she said want these want to be about a half an inch thick. So I'm trying to gauge about a half an inch here. And she didn't tell me how long to bake them, but I would guess most biscuits go from anywhere from, from 12 to, to 15 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off on 12 and check on them and let you know. Of course, you all know I don't, I don't bake a biscuit unless it goes on my, on my cast iron skillet. So I've got my biscuit cutter and I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of flour. And there's one biscuit that's gonna do turn out pretty. There's two. There's three. I tell you, you can't get much simpler, simpler than this, just two ingredients with biscuits, because I know some of y'all, a lot of people tell me they struggle their whole life trying to find a biscuit recipe because they just can't make biscuits and they don't understand this. So, my grandmother and mother made biscuits all the time, but it's just something I can't do. So, but biscuits really aren't hard to make if you just get used to making them. I like to put them on something where they can all stay together because touching, dough has a tendency to, to, to um, flatten out, but if they're side by side with each other, then they'll raise up. So I'm gonna see if I can get two more biscuits out of here to put in the middle. Yeah, let me try a little bit, flatten down a little bit. These might not be quite as high, but there's one. Let's see if I can get one more out of here. There's two. Okay, I'll push them right in here. Okay, they're in my cast iron skillet now. 
All right. And now I'm going to pop them in the oven at, uh, like I said, 475 for about 12 minutes, and I'll check and see. I might have to go 15, but when we come back, I'll let you know exactly how long it took. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, welcome back. My timer just went off at 12 minutes, so that's all it took is 12 minutes. So I'm going to get them out of the oven right now. And you're not going to believe, they're absolutely beautiful. Look at those. See how they rose up, how beautiful they are? So, now the real, real test. Ooh, they, you see the steam coming off of them. They are hot, okay? Um, wow. Who knew that we, that we could do that? So, I'm gonna cut one of these in half and at least try to. Yow, yow, yow. And these are so hot. <laughs> I hope I can take a bite. You know what I might do? I might cheat on this one. I might use a fork to try, but. I know you get tired of me saying unbelievable, but I had my doubts about, you know, just heavy whipping cream and um, self-rising flour. But folks, these are fluffy. They're delicious. This will be my new quick recipe to go in the morning for, for like sausage and egg and, uh, and for gravy biscuits. I thank uh, Becky so much for sending me this recipe. Wow. Give this one a try. I think you really like it. And next time, until next time, this is Jim Mann and Merida. Find me on Facebook and like me and hit the little thumbs up. I'm also on YouTube. If you would subscribe to me there and follow me, it really helps me to, to promote my channel. So thank you for all you do for, to help me and support me and for letting me come back into your house and watching all my videos and telling your friends. I've got people writing me that I, I don't even know. And I'm really thankful for my, for my group of high school friends that have supported me this whole time. Thank each and every one of y'all. Please subscribe. Until next time, take care of yourself and God bless.